My Facebook crashed. <laughs> that sucks. That was so much info. No. We had a malfunction. I'm terribly sorry. I'm going to have to do all of that over. I'm just kidding. No, all of, yeah, all of what I've talked about is on previous videos. Yeah, that sucks. I'm so sorry. I have no idea. I really hate Apple products. This sucks. Um, yeah, that cut off. I don't know what happened. Um, maybe it was just too much data? <laughs> sorry, guys. Um, I'll have to do all of that over at some point. That sucks. Um, okay, who's still here? Um, who's watching? I apologize, that was very not me. That was definitely the internet. The Facebook app crashed. Um, I'm terribly sorry. <coughs> that sucks. Um, yeah, so peak Dom. <laughs> okay, um, again, we're, we're back to this. So you're doing a very crush kind of vaudeville roll. I'm really sorry, the Facebook app crashed. I hate this iPad. It's, it's a blessing and a curse. I'm really, really sorry. Um, I'll have to do all of that over at some point. <coughs> I'll probably just record it next time and, and put it up on YouTube. I will have that stuff up though. But as far as this, I'll start with the peak dom here. Okay, again, I'm really sorry. The Facebook app crashed. Technology. Okay. <clears throat> um, back to the vaudeville roll. Yeah, so. Buzz approach for beginners. I will talk about that soon. Okay. Okay. And then the thing is, it's not supposed to stay too soft. So you can either have like, or that kind of thing. So for the soft ones, I'll, I'll play a little louder so you can see. I'm doing it. So for the rolls, I'm kind of crushing them and doing 16th. I'll do, uh, instead of, I'll do, so it just depends on how I feel. If I feel, I'll do that. <laughs> uh, so today I feel, okay, and it's just about being easy and light. Doesn't have to be just easy in life. You know, so phrase with the you know. So You know, so you got so I'm doing or you know, cool. Uh, cool. So last one. Stick of that. You know. Cool. Um, when you get to the loud one, it can get really taxing really fast. Stay relaxed. 
Okay. So you guys are the. Sorry about that. The Facebook app crashed on me, which sucks. That ne that's never happened before. Um, oh well. <laughs> uh, there's, I mean, I've done all of these at some point. Um, I don't. The only one I haven't done is Capriccio, uh, Capriccio, uh, clarinet concerto. Um, so I have to, I'll have to re-record this at some point. I'm really sorry. That sucks. Um, yeah, so if, if you guys have seen the Capriccio, oh, not Capriccio, Clarinet Concerto already, I'm going to redo that at the very least because I know my previous rant didn't have that. So I'm going to do that right now, okay? I'm really sorry again. <laughs> uh, okay. Clarinet Concerto, go back, going back, going back, back, back in time. I mean, I know how it goes. I just want to see. I want to make sure I get all the numbers right. Here we go. All right, sorry, that concerto again. Sorry. All right, beginning. I'm doing so. This is after three. I'll be doing triplets. So into the loud uh, forte, double forte. So and then I'm gonna go into thirty second notes and then do the cool. So for the roll, it's gonna be triplet, triplet, cool. And I'm basically going to keep the same strategy for all the others. And then a quick one. Cool? So. Uh, cool? So that's in the slow motion. Cool. Again, it's a smaller uh, orchestra, smaller chamber group, so they have to be crazy loud. It's just. Uh, um, and then some of these accents in different editions aren't in the same edition, so just make sure you pay attention to what edition you're playing at the time, because sometimes. The last four don't have accents. So in this version, it has accents. So be prepared not to play them. And they have, I would practice doing for that pianissimo roll, for that accented pianissimo roll, that. I like doing that. Cool, and then dun, 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 dun. I'm just doing triplets for that. Dun, 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 Make sure you have that that accent right there. Cool. Um, again, some of those accents are in some additions, so just pay attention to which one you're playing and which one you're preparing. Okay, so that's the beginning. Again. The dynamics are supposed to be contrasting, but just make sure it's not too abrasive because of the smaller orchestra and all that stuff. Cool. Uh, next one is 14 um, to basically 17 after, uh, a little bit after 17. 
Um, normally, you won't have to play all of that. Uh, they'll just ask like 15 or 16 to 17. <clears throat> and I would recommend not traveling for these. Again, you have accented mezzo pianos with the mini window, so I wouldn't do. I wouldn't do that because that changes the timbre of the drum the entire time. Like it's, it's yes, it's diminuendos, but it doesn't have the same color. So I would keep it in the same place. Sixteen. When you get to when you get to the triplets, phrase. Don't just go. It's boring. No accent on the last one. I'm pretty sure that's in every, almost every edition, there is no accent. Cool. So if you want to open up, use a little more cushion, more arm. Cool. The more wrist you use, the quicker the velocity, so it'll be more. And we get that, like, gritty sound, so. I like doing that. Again, timpani. That's all I do. Um, now, for the main one, uh, going into number 29, usually uh, people might ask for 2 before 28 or 28. Reason being, the tempo at 28 is different than the tempo at 29. So you need to make sure you have the two different tempos. <laughs> You know. Cool. Um, and there's no way to get around it. The 29 to 32 after, you know, 32, just practice, like, start where you're comfortable. If you're not comfortable playing that soft, Just, you know, just go with it. You'll get more comfortable as you get more comfortable. <laughs> and again, you want to phrase everything. Don't, don't just try to go like... Okay? Uh, same goes for like uh, Schumann 3. Uh, You know, that kind of thing. Schumann 3, the same thing. Uh, Key G, the same thing. Start. Start where you're comfortable. And, and um, as you're practicing soft, again, I use, I use more forearm. If I want it to be more articulate, I'll use more wrists. And again, start where you're comfortable. Cool. Um, yeah. Uh, going to Key, now I'm going to Keiji. Uh, 
PG. Yeah, so uh, the ending of that, that's the main, that's usually the main problem usually people have. Uh, if I could find it real quick. There you are. So, key G number 13. Uh, everything's going smooth, basically. Except for here. Going to that triple stroke rough. What I do, uh, right, left, right, left, right, right, right. Or right, 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 right. Into that triple stroke rough. So I do a right, left, right. I do a right, left, left, right triple stroke into that. So right, 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 right. right, 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 right. So if you looked at it, uh, so that's what it sounds like. Uh, about odd number if you don't want to sound like like no odd odd number roll to fill it out to make it less you know uh, beady and just relax Sometimes it's asked, but not as much. <clears throat> Reason why is because these fives. Uh, it's after 54, number 54, one bar after. You have these. You have those fives in between. And then the crescendo with the five. So what I do, I wrist those out, and I use a lot of upstroke with arm weight. Cool. Again, it doesn't have to be too crazy. It's just, it is a solo, so it's not much in your way anyway. So you don't have to be, you don't have to do that. Cool. Um, so that's Kiji. And then what else do we do? We did Shahrazad. We did a lot of Shahrazad. Um, again, I'm just recreating this because the Facebook crashed on me after an hour of work. <laughs> okay, so now we're back to Shahrazad. Um, let's see. So things to think about, letter D to E. Let me just get this real quick. Ah, come on. I mean, I know how this goes. I just want to make sure I have all the numbers correct. So I don't want to mess anybody up. Or letters, I mean, in this case. Ah, Shostakovich. There we go. Okay. We're back. All right. D to E. Start where, where you're comfortable. Again, if you're not comfortable doing, then don't start there. Start. And again, you want to see what doubles are going to work for you. If you're going to use wrist, that'll be a little bit more articulate. So if you're going to do that. Also with the wrist is finer uh, muscles or finer twitch muscles. So there might be, you have to be super relaxed so they don't start shaking. So super relaxed if you're going to use a lot of wrist. I like doing that a lot, um, but these days I use a lot more arms, so I use a combination of the two. So 
Because again, arm cushions the sound and cushions the blow. So it might sound a little bit more muddy. So if I'm gonna do that, I need to use a little bit of wrist. So that's what I usually do. And again, you want the phrase to be there. Some people do that. Some people do that. So whatever phrase is gonna feel the best, that one doesn't feel as good to me, but I do like the sound of it. Like I've just changed by sticking a ton in those few bars, but they all sound okay. So you just have to decide on what you like and then, you know, decide on a couple things you like and then whatever you feel in the moment, do that. Cause that's the one you're probably gonna do the best. Don't just force yourself like, oh, I don't feel good about doing, I'm gonna just do it anyway. Like, no, if you don't feel good about it, don't do it. That's why you have a couple ways to skin a cat, you know, just in case. to G. So there's a couple ways you can do this. You got the roughs, obviously. But when you get to the four and five and six and, you can either do like a double paradiddle into the rough. Or, yeah, you have to do a right, right, right. Or left, 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 depending on what you're, what you're sticking it. Okay. Other way you could do it, uh, people do one-handed. That's also possible. Uh, me, I alternate and do a double left at the end or a double right depending on your sticking. So I do that. Awesome. And again, phrase. Same thing goes for G to H. So the roll shouldn't be louder than the main notes. It should be so soft. Crescendo after H, soft and cushioned. It's not like a Shostakovich one. It's da 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 You know, it's very soft. Da 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 You know, it's very soft. It's not like da 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 You know, soft. Cushioned, nice, nice loose free stroke, if you remember from my book. <laughs> Nice, okay? And the last four roughs, just the nice soft and very relaxed. Cool. So again, you just want to be if you're gonna if you're gonna use wrists, really, really relaxed, or else it's gonna be too tight. Like that. Like that. Just relax. Okay, now we're into the fun stuff. Uh, N, going into N. Uh, whereas the last roll was very cushioned, what you're gonna do is basically the opposite. <coughs> um, and the way to do this, I would first practice, 
If you've been doing my stroke types exercises, this would be pretty easy. Uh, you're doing your roll, like I'm doing triplets for this. And for the crescendo, uh, let's see, one bar before N, one, two, three, four, five, down, down. That's what I'm doing. One, two, three, four, five, down, down. One, two, three, four, five, down, down. Basically. So you're doing your roll. One, two, three, four, five, down, down. Like that. And then where I said uh, previously where I don't like traveling, here I will travel because the loudness of that last note will make it kind of inaudible for the soft part to be heard. So to, to make that a little bit easier, I'll start playing soft about here. So the ear has that time to travel with the sound. So you're, you're just encouraging the ear to come with you for that. So. Now for N, I don't just, well you could do that, but again, phrase. So I put a little tenuto on every bar. So it keeps the ear engaged. Again, it's not an accent, it's not, it's just a tenuto. Okay, um, then we get to P. Uh, here, it's more lively, so to show intensity, I use more upstrokes, not really volume. Um, because if you do, you know, you could do that, but then it sounds like Shostakovich. Um, this is where you can start planning. Well, I'll talk about that later. <laughs> so here, I just use more ups. Okay, so things to think about, you want to have the roughs to be the same character. So I like the rust being a little softer. And you need to choose what you want those to sound like. So I have a little bit of accent. Cool. Uh, then you have the... So going with the phrase... There you go to your cool. So you want to have those characters set in place. So I would just practice your cool. And again, I'm using a lot of cushion and a lot of arm to keep it from going to getting to that. intensity by adding upstrokes brightens up the sound because you're not going to lose volume if you're doing both at the same time because you have that added weight of the arm cushioning the sound so you have the articulation of the upstroke with the added weight of the arm keeps the volume consistent and just adds a little bit more articulation or else you get like if you try to do the same thing without the arm you just all light. So that's adding the arm. Cool? All right. Okay, then we get to Q. Uh, again, I'm just doing ups and down strokes. So I'm doing one, up, 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 down, down, up, 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 down, down, up, 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 down, and then full, full, down, down, basically. Full, full, down, down. So. That's basically what I'm doing. Now, nine after Q, if you listen to the score, if you listen to the music, the trumpets go up a pitch. 
So to emulate that, I add a little bit more volume, not too crazy. Again, it's more arm, just more cushion. So it just opens the drum up a little bit more. So first it starts. Ah. Crank it up a little bit, just turn up the notch. So that shows that, okay? So that's Q and nine after Q. So Q, instead of just having, it's just, you know. Cool, I'm out of shape, oh my gosh. Okay, S, uh, remember, Oh, remember clarinet concerto where I talked about this? Basically doing that. So I'm doing a triplet and sticking it there. So and then so those I'm doing triplets. So I lean out of that one. And then for the last three, yeah, I yeah, 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 I do that. So I do that. So and that one I stick a little bit with my wrist. Two, ready, go. So for T to U, some people do. That's a little bit more nerve-wracking for me because I just feel like, ah, you know. So doubles are a little bit easier for me. And again, I have that tenuto. So I have that that phrase. So it's not like, like yeah, you can do it, but. Like, I just think about like little softer waves on the ship. So you're just emulating Q uh, to R a little bit. And then two before U, I diminuendo along with the trumpet. So. Cool. Uh, and then sometimes you'll do the Pio Stretto part. Um, these are where I start sticking out the, the wrist a little bit more for that uh, for, the sforzando accent. So a very, a very whipped. You know, then. I get all that in there too. Um, so again, these flams I emulate. And again, I'm using a lot of arm to cushion it because it is loud and it could be too punchy if you, you know. So I do that instead. Cool. And then. At spirit, spiritoso, I do that. Lots of ups. And you. And you just have it all open there. Boom. Okay. Did I get everything that I covered in the previous? Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is all just kind of, oh. And then I did Peter and the Wolf really quickly. Super cushion. So this is 
like more. This sounds really big. And then you add a little bit of articulation with the wrist. that next season. I can't wait. That's a little bit slow. Maybe. Cool. Um, yeah. And then what else did we talk about? Oh, Capriccio Espanol. Again, cushion. Because it's a lighter sound. I do fours. So I do really open. articulation there. And the articulation can come from the wrist there. Nice and full. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm just afraid this is going to crash on me again, so I'm afraid to keep going. Oh, somebody asked for Peak Dom. I started at the beginning talking about uh, uh, the vaudeville roll, which is basically a three-stroke roll where you're doing one-handed, like, one and in between you have a little bit of a buzz. So you're doing like, so you have that going on. Or some people do, I don't like that, so I do that. And for those, I'm just basically going. I'm not doing. You can do that uh, where you're doing. If, if it's slow enough, I mean, I mean, you can do it fast. But for me, it's a little bit more hectic. Also, with that, uh, with doing just one buzz, you can accent. So it's really easy to hear. You know, I get it. Cool. It's really easy for this to get really hectic really fast, so you want to be as soft and, and relaxed as possible.
Don't go. Don't do that. Don't don't destroy the color with that. Uh, open. Cool. All right. Again, I'm sorry. I had to do all that over. Uh, the Facebook thing crashed. So. All right. I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead because I just did everything we did before this thing crashed. So I'm gonna stop. Uh, thanks for watching. See you guys soon. Bye.